This may be the most challenging day of recording a devotion I've had since I started. This is take four. Take one, black top kept getting between me and the camera. Take two, I realized I'd already done the devotion. Number three, here comes black top again. He kept butting my forehead with his head, which meant you were seeing his rear. So to save you from that sight, I'm trying number four. This one is called The Announcement, and it's written by Luisa Reyes and Peel. The key verse, so sorry, I'm done, cat. The key verse is be still and know that I am God, Psalm 4610. I am moving to Columbia, mom. My daughter announced one early morning as I was preparing my lunch for work. What? I immediately responded in a state of shock. In two weeks, she said. Tears started streaming down my face and questions crowded my mind. Why is my daughter giving up her life in the U.S.? What will she do in a country whose language is not our first language? Who do we know that they are who I can count on to help her if anything goes wrong? The evening of the announcement, I could not sleep. I was full of fear and worry. I feared that Christians, Christian, her daughter, was making an ungodly choice. So I worried that she would come to harm and not be able to get any help at all when that happened. I could not stop my tears as I begged the Lord to bring me peace and comfort. By 2 a.m., he brought the calm and assured me that he is still in charge. What I hope and cannot do for my daughter, God can do. I had been asking the Lord for his will in both of my daughter's lives in my daily prayers. And so she left. I heard from her when she needed my help, mostly financial in nature. My mind wanted to fill in the gaps, but I had to set aside my fear and worry and hold on to God's truth because he told me so. Before she left, she had written me a letter and I reread it every single day she was away and she wrote, I will appreciate all the things you have done and given more so now that I will be on my own. I love you. Psalm 4610 was a constant reminder to me to be still and know that I am God. He knows the beginning and the end of each of the life stories of us. He whispered to me that he will take care of my daughter because he is doing the same for me. Don't stop praying, Louisa. That was my comfort and my peace. Seven months later, Christiane arrived back in the U.S. And when I picked her up at the airport, I could feel in the tightness of her embrace and the tears streaming down her face how much she missed her family. She's back. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh my gosh, this cat is driving me crazy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The reflection question for today is, what startling announcement did you receive recently that you need to trust the Lord for? Oh my goodness, this cat. Let's pray. Father God, in times of fear, and times of worry, help each of us to remember to be still and to know and to trust and to depend on the faithfulness that you are still God. Help us to trust you in the midst of anxieties and uncertainties, in the midst of a global pandemic and national violence during protests. Help us to trust you when things seem unjust and know that you are a just God. Father, I pray that you would make us mindful of our speech and of our actions that even through the chaos that seems to be filling the world these days, Father, that we can be a voice of truth, a voice of love, a voice that brings joy and peace to others. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I'm guessing that my little cat here may 
I have some bonding issues <laughs> since he won't leave me alone today. Have a great day. And if you have a cat, go pet him. <laughs>